Now, human skin is really remarkable. We, we all think that the skin is a fairly simple organ. We take it for granted, much like the rest of our bodies. We take completely for granted. But when we look at it in a comparative perspective, human skin is unusual, very different in some respects from that of other mammals because it's mostly naked. We don't have a lot of hair except on the top of our heads and a few selected other places on our body. Most of our body hair is absent. We're quite sweaty compared to other mammals. Sometimes most of us don't glorify the fact that we're sweaty, but we have the ability to prodigiously sweat, and I'll explain in a little while why that is so. And we're also uh, possessing of skin that is very tough and still sensitive. These key characteristics were pointed out decades ago by the famous dermatologist and anthropologist William Montagna in the United States. And he also pointed out that skin comes in a variety of natural colors, from the darkest, almost near ebony color to the palest near ivory. And that these colors, in fact, have tremendous biological meaning. And so here, this is a, a little patch, a little bit of a sandwich, I guess, a view of human skin, the very surface of human skin here, and this is, this is the epidermis, and the dermis underneath with its conspicuous hair and blood vessels flowing through. Ultraviolet radiation doesn't get too far through human skin. Ultraviolet B, especially this short wavelength, very energetic form, makes it through the epidermis and just into the very superficial part of the dermis. UVA has less energy and is able to penetrate much more deeply. Now, for the most part, ultraviolet radiation is a malign influence on us. It is destructive, it destroys DNA, it destroys the components of cell membranes, it destroys myriad things within organisms. And we have a variety of mechanisms to protect ourselves from these damaging effects. But I hasten to point out that there's one very important effect that, one, that is positive, that is performed by ultraviolet B, which is the beginning of production of vitamin D in the skin. I will come back presently to the importance of vitamin D, but it's, it's important to point out that although we think of ultraviolet radiation as a sort of a universally malign influence, that it has one benign and in fact one very important uh, uh, function, which is to begin the process of making vitamin D in skin. So we must use this knowledge, not just sit and stew on it, we must use this knowledge in our everyday lives to help us understand our own diversity. And in a country like my own, in a country like South Africa, we have to deal with the, the heritage of labels and value-laden labels. But we can begin to do that every day by recognizing the deep history of those labels, the biology behind them and begin the process of education. When we understand how we came to look differently in evolutionary time, this is a tremendous key to unlocking a huge feast of, of diversity, of appearance, and opportunity in humanity. Tremendously important for our futures. The recognition that these differences between us are only skin deep. We are united by our skin color, not divided. Thank you very much.